Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Willy Morgen. Ja, in der letzten Folge haben wir alles versucht und es am Ende auch geschafft, um ins Zimmer 9 zu kommen. Und jetzt müssen wir nach der örtlichen Bibliothek suchen. Wie ihr rechts schon sehen könnt, haben wir jetzt einen neuen Tag begonnen. Und jetzt dürfen wir uns auch ein bisschen mehr bewegen. Das ist sehr schön. Gehst du da rein? Ähm, soll ich ihn wegen der Bibliothek fragen? Nö, ich kann eigentlich so gucken, oder? Better leave the key here. I don't know if I'll want to avail myself of this service again tonight. No, kann ich mir gut vorstellen. I guess it's a good idea to ask for directions to the library. I wouldn't want to wander aimlessly through Bone Town. Aber ich Excuse me, I need some information. Is there still a public library here in Bone Town? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks. This and more for a paying customer. I better be going now. Mhm. Mm so, wir sind jetzt aktuell hier im Gasthaus. Oh je, das ist ja viel größer als ich dachte. Dann Ach so, die zeigen das nicht an. Hier oben ist anscheinend irgendwie so ein Jahrmarkt oder sowas. Keine Ahnung. Da können wir mal gucken, was das ist. Ob das jetzt... Aber das sieht so bunt aus. Ich glaube nicht, dass das eine Bibliothek ist. Auf jeden Fall denke ich mir mal, dass wir uns rechts halten müssen. Aber ich gucke trotzdem mal. Man konnte doch hier... Genau. Man konnte doch da auch noch reingehen. Mal schauen. Open. Poster. Ach, das ist die Bibliothek. Ach so. I don't need them. Ja, toll. Ähm. Schauen wir mal hier. Better not. It's like seeing my house. Even if I picked everything up, <lacht> then it would suffer the same fate in our closet at home. Na super. I don't want to take anything from here. It's still material in the public domain. I don't need it. Hm, da. I don't think I need this kind of souvenir. Bücher, wahrscheinlich ganz viel. Ah nee, ich kann nur drei Stellen hier anklicken. I have no time to fix other people's things too. I'm not doing any research in particular right now. It's not my priority right now. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? <lacht> Was ist in den letzten Jahren passiert, genau? What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? The city has always held more allure at the expense of the small villages, and Bone Town is no exception. All the young people left when they had the chance, leaving the town in its current sorry state. It seems you know our town well, although you're so young. Can I ask your name? Of course. I'm Willie Morgan. I'm Margaret. Margaret Teach. But for those who attend the library, I'm just Margaret. Once there was a Morgan here in Bone Town too. Then he left, seeking fortune, and he became famous. But he never stopped coming back to visit Bone Town. I don't think you know him. You mean Henry Morgan by any chance? You surprise me, and that doesn't happen often. The point is, I know him very well. Henry was my father. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while. Ten years ago, right? Um. Ja, hm. fangen wir mal oben an. How do you know that? Kid, I'm the librarian. I basically remember everything that is put on paper. And Henry used to come to our library a lot. Do you know anything about his disappearance? Unfortunately, only what I've read about. One night he was here in Bone Town. The morning after, it's like he vanished into thin air. Not a clue, not a trace. 
No letters or anything that could have guided the search parties to a solution. Do you know what he was working on in his final research? I don't know. He always read a lot, basically all the tomes you can find in here. And sometimes, at his request, I had to order books from other cities as well. Do you know if he had enemies, maybe? Henry? Let's be serious. I think there were very few men as affable as him. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. If I can be of any more help, just ask. Ja, zum Beispiel, indem äh, sie sagt, welche Bücher er gelesen hat. Das wäre doch schon mal ein Anfang. I need to consult one of your tomes. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Ähm. Um. <lacht> Nicht besonders berühmte Piratenlieder von Treepwood. Not very famous pirate songs by Threepwood. Unfortunately, that's one of the most requested books. There's even a waiting list to consult it. Grog und andere Köstlichkeiten? Grog and other delights. It hasn't been available since 1998, when Grog was declared a substance harmful to health, and the book was never reprinted again. Grog, are you kidding? It was a short-lived law, abolished immediately afterward to avoid a mass uprising. Luckily, <laughs> don't get me started. A cup of grog in the morning is like a panacea. But in case it happens again in the future, I have put aside a personal supply. Eigenschaften vom Beton. Properties of concrete. Oh, what a surprise! It's not among the more popular in Bone Town. I guess this is the second consultation in more than ten years. Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't read a lot, especially a book like that. I could never have managed to face it either. Where can I find it? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. You should recognize it easily. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. So, hier haben wir ja alles angeklickt, dann gehen wir mal nach oben. Kiste. Hmm, this lock is peculiar to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. Mhm, mm in Form eines Blattes, so wie das aussieht. How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. Das heißt, dass wir das auf jeden Fall brauchen. Und das sind nur die drei Teile, die wir anklicken können. Wobei, das Ganze ist doch jetzt kein Buch, oder? Wollt ihr mich denn hier? <lacht> I don't think fixing my nails would improve the outcome of my visit to Bone Town. Ja, aber irgendwie müssen wir das doch rauskriegen. How? Should I remove every... There's no time. And above... Hm. Theoretischerweise, wenn ich die Kiste öffnen würde, könnte ich entweder was finden, um das äh, rauszukriegen. Wobei die hier wahrscheinlich auch alle weg müssen, ne? Oder ich muss die dann alle da einräumen. Oh, Leute. Reden wir nochmal mit ihr. I need to consult one Aber of das your ist das Gleiche, It's ne? always a pleasure. What are you looking for? Eigenschaften von Beton. I don't recall the exact title. I'm sorry, but without the title, I can't help you. Ach ja. Can you repeat what you know about my father? Henry had a natural gift with people, achieved success, loved reading, and he didn't have any enemies, at least here in Bone Town. Besides the fact that he disappeared ten years ago, I wouldn't know what else to say. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Wie soll man etwas... Hier kann man auch keine Fenster öffnen oder so, ne? Haben auch nichts, womit wir das hier öffnen können. 
Hello? It doesn't work. A peculiar key is needed, or something that could force this lock. I don't think fixing. Ja, ja, ja. Bibliotheksausweis. It's a card for the bone. The card belongs. Let's see the lab properties of concrete. What was he working on? Better go to the library to make. Ach, deswegen ist er darauf ge äh, gekommen mit dem Beton. Okay. Ah, es wird alles eingekreist. Nicht nur, wo man ist, sondern äh, dass man da wahrscheinlich hinreisen kann, oder? Ah, cool. Nein. Das ist ja cool. Ähm, aber das Regenrohr kann ich immer noch nicht irgendwie benutzen, ne? Hm. Wir schauen mal hier durch. Museum. Wir können nach unten gehen. Da ist nochmal Regenrinne. One-Eyed Jack Rest irgendwas. I don't think that dragging this barrel of over a hundred liters would benefit me a lot. Es kommt drauf an. I understand that copper has become precious, but I don't think it'd go unnoticed. <lacht> Was ist eigentlich hier mit diesen Hühnchen? Können wir das nicht anstelle von Gummihuhn benutzen? I don't see how the complete menu of the one-eyed Jack would help me. I don't need it. It's like an ancient artifact. In poor condition, touching it would surely mean damaging it, even though time has already done its part. It wouldn't be nice if I took the only street sign for the local museum. I have a strong feeling that if I did it, I'd put the entire town economy in danger. And Bone Town doesn't seem like it's experiencing its golden age. Naja, ich bin ganz ehrlich. Äh, ich glaube nicht, dass jemand von denen hier ins Museum geht. Oh, ein Wagenheber. I don't know how, but I hope it might come in handy. Ein Wagenheber. Ah. At first glance, it appears to weigh over a hundred kilos. Surely working out in the gym made me stronger, but I don't think it performed any miracles. Mhm. Ja, wir gehen aber trotzdem jetzt nochmal erst zurück. Äh, und probieren, ob wir das hochheben können. Weiß nicht, ob das I don't think I should use it on the book. Ja, ich war mir nicht Let's sicher. Try. It worked. Check out what we have here. Let's see what it is. It's another letter from my father. It's dated July 22nd, 2008, earlier than the other one. There's also a piece of paper that seems more ancient, but I can't figure out what it is. Better take a look right now. If dad did all this so that I'd find it, there must be something important. Um ich hoffe, ich kann das jetzt alles so lesen. Ich hoffe, dass du, dass du es bist. Willy, der diesen Brief liest. Ansonsten wären meine Bemühungen umsonst gewesen. Meine letzten Nachforschungen haben bestätigt, dass Captain Kidd und seine Mannschaft einen großen Schatz gefunden haben. Ich weiß nicht, wo sie ihn versteckt haben, aber sie haben eine Karte gezeichnet, die unter den Mitgliedern der Mannschaft aufgeteilt wurde. Von seiner Hinrichtung hatte Kit dieses Stück der Karte in seinem, seiner Zelle. Ich habe es noch intakt finden können. Das bedeutet, dass die Karte nie wieder zusammengesetzt wurde und der Schatz noch irgendwo vergessen liegt. Du findest diese, dieses Stück der Karte zusammen mit dem Brief. Es ist natürlich ohne die anderen Teile nutzlos. Meinen Nachforschungen nach sind die anderen Mitglieder nach Bone Town geflüchtet. Ah. Und haben dort auf die Rückkehr des Captains gewartet. Nachdem ich jahrelang in jedem Buch aus, diesen, aus dieser Zeit gestöbert habe, entdeckte ich nun endlich die Liste der Mannschaft. Edward Drake, Charles Teach, John Roger, Tom Raleigh. Chris Avery, Rock Lefitte, Walter Fly, Eddie Blary oder sowas. Finde die fehlenden Teile und erreiche den Schatz, bevor es ein anderer tut. Mehr kann ich nicht sagen. Du hast wenig Zeit. Ich fühle mich verfolgt. Ich weiß nicht, ob wir uns wiedersehen. In Liebe, dein Vater Henry. 
Now I understand what the piece of paper was that I found with the letter. Dad always performed great feats, but I never imagined he was looking for kids' treasure. It has always been said that it was basically a legend. I don't remember the complete story exactly, but maybe the librarian can help me. And I have a list of names. Better start asking information of the townsfolk without attracting too much attention. I don't need my father's old library card anymore. Even if someone found it, it would be useless. I have the letter and the piece of map belonging to my dad. Okay, ist hier nicht irgendwas anderes? Ne, dann habe ich das eben falsch gesehen. Ich dachte, da konnte man noch irgendwas anderes anklicken. Ähm, die Bibliotheksausweis hätte ich jetzt nicht da gelassen, aber gut, wenn man den nicht mehr braucht, ist das natürlich super. Stück von der Karte. Es ist ein Stück von der Map, das Captain Kidd aber ich kann nichts machen, wenn ich die anderen acht Teile nicht finde. Acht Teile? Acht Teile? Okay, ich schätze, das wird doch ein bisschen länger dauern, als wir gedacht haben. Brief aus Bibliothek. Dann sprechen wir mal mit ihr. Warum sehen alle Regenrinnen in Bone Town so neu aus? Ja, genau. Das ist, das interessiert mich brennend. How come all across Bone Town the gutters seem to be new? They are new. There has been some geological instability in the last few years. We don't know yet if it's due to natural causes or human activity. In any case, the result is that Bone Town no longer has a working water network. And the only way to retrieve some water at a decent cost seems to be this one. Whose idea was this? Maybe the only person who really cares about the state of Bone Town, our mayor Steve Bonnet. What can you tell me about Steve Bonnet? He's the only one here doing something to keep Bone Town alive. Without him, our village would be much worse off. I suggest you go visit him. He knows everything about Bone Town. If you need something specific, he'll be able to help you for sure. These days he lives in the town hall to deal with all the city's problems, but he's always available to everyone. Thank you. I'll visit him as soon as possible. What can you tell me about Steve Bonnet? He's the only one here doing something to keep Bone Town alive. Without him, our village would be much worse off. I suggest you go visit him. He knows everything about Bone Town. If you need something specific, ja, he'll be able gut. to help you for sure. These days he lives in the town hall to deal with all the city's problems, but he's always available to everyone. Thank you. I'll visit him as soon as possible. Ich habe mich vertan. Äh, können Sie wiederholen, was Sie Irre ich mich oder sagten Sie ihr Name sei Ja, meine ich nämlich auch, dass die Teach gesagt hätte. Am I wrong or did you tell me your name is Margaret Teach? That's correct. Do you know a man named Charles Teach? Your question surprises me. How do you know my great great grandfather? I'm doing some research on the genealogy of Bone Town and I stumbled upon the Teach family. Yes, it's been several generations now since the Teaches settled in Bone Town. What can you tell me about Charles Teach in particular? He was the one who brought the name Teach here to Bone Town, but of his past little is known. My great grandma told me that he was a former fisherman with a knack for books. This library is a donation he made to the city of Bone Town just before he died. After he arrived here in Bone Town, he devoted himself exclusively to reading, and many of these books were bought directly by him. He had so many of them that he basically founded the town library, which then became the family business for the following generations too. And he didn't leave anything else apart from the books? All he left is stored on the upper floor, but it's mostly junk. The real treasure was his books. There's also an old crate without a key, but it looks empty. Okay, also da wird wahrscheinlich ein Stück drin sein. Kennen Sie die Geschichte von Captain William Kidd? Do you by any chance know the story of Captain William Kidd? Sure, it is mostly a legend. In the golden era of piracy, Kidd stood out for his endeavors, if you could call them that. The endeavors of a pirate aren't exactly heroic most of the time. Anyway, his ship, the Adventure Galley, was supposedly filled with treasures when it suddenly disappeared. A few years later, in 1701, Kidd was captured and executed. But his ship and the crew were never found. What do you think happened? What always happened at that time? Kidd and his crew squandered all the loot, and to cover their tracks, they sold or even burned the ship. After this story, Kidd became legendary. Thank you. Die haben das Schiff angezündet. Hallo? Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. 
Ich gehe jetzt noch mal ganz kurz oben gucken, aber ich denke mal nicht, dass sich da was verändert hat. Nee, da ist immer nur immer noch nur die zwei Punkte. Also, der Schlüssel liegt auf jeden Fall in der Kiste. Aha. Hm. Very strange. I have the feeling I'm being watched. Better be careful. You never know what can happen in Bone Town. Hm. Weiß nicht, ob ich jetzt hier in die Gasse runtergehen soll, wo mich keiner sieht. Verdächtiger Charakter. Okay. Ähm, Buch Buchpyramide. I have no time for this kind of reading right now. Schauen wir uns hier erstmal ein bisschen um. I don't think it would come in handy. Er hat mit 10 Dollar angefangen, ist immer günstiger geworden und macht jetzt irgendwas äh, umsonst. I already have a memory that may never be erased from my mind. I don't think I'll need that too. It's part of the museum exhibition. Better leave it where it is. Okay, bis auf er scheint man doch da kann man noch was. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Have you seen what is written on the envelope? It's the property of Tom Rayleigh's heirs. But I'm one of his great grandsons. I'm a researcher as well as a capable artist. Bring me concrete proof and you can have the envelope. Until then, the envelope will remain museum property. Ein Moment, das ist noch ein einzelnes Buch sehe ich gerade. There's something written. Free. Maybe it will come in handy. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. Prisons, the story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm, now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. I'd rather put this book back in its place. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. <lacht> um. <lacht> um, gut. Dann haben wir aber sonst erstmal nichts. Mal gucken, ob der noch mit uns redet. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, can I do something for you? I am very busy and I'd hate to lose time. Are you the museum janitor? Uh, uh, no. I'm the curator, as well as the only artist in Bone Town. Remarkable. Hallo, der ist da irgendwas am Zeichnen, da stehen Skulpturen rum und der fragt, sind Sie der Hausmeister? Busy doing what? Oh, uh, I don't think you'd understand. You don't look like you have an open mind like us artists. Please, I'm very curious. Uh, no. Come on, share it with me. Um, uh, no. Okay, I don't think it was that important anyway. Um, not important. Are you kidding me? My research is, uh, um, of vital importance for Bone Town and its history. Research for peace of mind? Uh, funny. Finding himself? Uh, no. What kind of research? Um, I'm trying to clear the name of one of the most controversial figures of Bone Town. Who are we talking about? Tom Rayleigh. He spent almost his whole life in here. Was he a researcher too? Uh, no. Uh, this was a prison once. They say that Rayleigh, because of his alcohol problems, spent most of his sober time in here. In every town there's a drunkard. Um, no. Tom wasn't a drunkard. His artistic life was very troubled. My research proved that. Have you already done other research on Rayleigh? Um, yes. Uh, you can find everything about it in the book I wrote on Rayleigh. You can take a copy if you like. Already done. Very illuminating. Really? What passage impressed you most? Hmm. Äh, praktisch alles, äh... Practically everything about Tom? You're already calling Tom. 
I transmitted empathy, so I've done a good job with the book. Just what I meant. How come you're so obsessed with Tom Rayleigh? Um, it's not that I'm obsessed. Tom Rayleigh was an artist, just like me. Some of the objects in here are his works. But, as with all misunderstood geniuses, he had a devil inside. Um, some people claim that, in the midst of a drunken stupor, he could produce his best works. But once he was sober, he destroyed those works because he deemed them not to have been done by him. And I, being a misunderstood genius myself, now want to clear his image. If you say so. And how do you think you can do that? Uh, I'm trying to recover all the works left by the Master. And in the meantime, I'm tracing Rayleigh's great-grandsons by delivering the only thing he left here in Bone Town. Eine Zahnbürste, genau. His dignity? Uh, no. Money? Um, an artist with money? I don't think that's possible. A toothbrush? Um, don't joke about that. We artists are not interested in personal care. I'm glad to hear that. I'm talking about that envelope. What are the contents of the envelope? Um, I don't know. It's an official document classified by the police and kept here in the museum. It says for Rayleigh's heirs. I can't open it. It would go against my artist's code of ethics. And probably against some laws as well. Um, yes. I'm looking for Rayleigh's heirs to deliver it. So I might know what happened to Rayleigh once he left Bone Town too. Ja, damit wiederholt er ja eigentlich nur wieder alles. Goodbye. Um, yes. Goodbye. Ja, ich würde sagen, dass wir hier am besten erstmal einen kleinen Cut machen. Und dass wir dann, ähm, wenn es möglich ist, die nächste Folge darauf versuchen zu beschränken, dass wir nachweisen können, dass wir ein Vorfahr sind oder ihn ablenken. Aber ich gehe eher davon aus, dass wir sowas nachweisen müssen. Wir haben jetzt nur leider nichts hier. Brief aus Bibliothek, Stück von Karte. Nichts, was uns jetzt irgendwie, ähm, sollten wir ihm nicht geben, oder? Not. There are important clues. Naja. I don't think sticking them there would be useful. <lacht> I don't think sticking them there would be useful. Ja, keine Ahnung, warum ich das oder kann ich das bei ihm selber? I don't think sticking them there would be useful. Nee. Ach so, da hat das Gemälde jetzt amüsiert. Ja, keine Ahnung. Ich würde sagen, dass wir hier wirklich erstmal einen kleinen Cut machen und dass wir dann in der nächsten Folge mal entweder ein bisschen weiterschauen oder nach Möglichkeit wirklich gucken, dass wir nachweisen können, dass wir der Vorfahr sind und dann diesen Briefumschlag im besten Fall erhalten können. Ich sag mal bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao! Vielen Dank für dein Like. Wenn du mehr davon sehen möchtest, dann darfst du mich auch gerne abonnieren.